Hi Aries, welcome to your September mid-monthly tarot reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I recommend that you check out your other placements for additional messages. This is a general reading, so messages may or may not apply. So just take what does and leave it if it doesn't. Now keep in mind, I could be picking up on past, present, or future energy that you may be heading into, or just left, or you're about to go into, or you're going through right now. So just keep that in mind. If it doesn't resonate right now, you may be like, what the fuck is she talking about? Put it in your back pocket. You never know. You may need it. You may need to come back to this video in a month from now, six weeks from now. Just saying. Also, for those who have problems with swearing, I swear a fuck ton, as you can tell. I know. I'm not going to stop. I had a couple comments on that. I'm like, well, take it or leave it. Like, there's plenty of other tarot readers on YouTube. If you can't handle bad words, okay? Now, that's just for some of you. I don't know. Some people get triggered by swearing, but it's just like, it's a fucking word. So, like, come at me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm in a weird kind of mood tonight. I usually don't do readings around this time. I usually try to do them in the afternoon. So I, my energy is a little bit all over the place, but maybe I'm picking up on you guys. Oh my God, I'm speaking really fast. <sighs> maybe that's you guys coming through. I don't know, whoever the fuck I'm picking up on. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm literally, <laughs> I need to chill the fuck out because y'all got me rapping. I'm feeling like Eminem, motherfucking Slim Shady. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, so let's focus on you guys. We're gonna see what's going on in your loving career. So, just from now till the end of September, I'm gonna just say that. Like, I, I can't even give a specific date. This is just different for everybody. What messages do we have for Aries for the rest of September, the second half of September? Any messages for Aries? Oh, okay, we got a lot of things wanting to show up already. We have the Ace of Pentacles, brand new opportunities, brand new beginnings options for jobs self growth uh friendships i'm sorry i just like went fucking flat flat line <laughs> we're gonna just let me just talk ace of pentacles okay we got ace of pentacles we have the world we got the world over here oh is it it's overexposed hold on y'all i'm gonna have to move my light hold on we're gonna we're back okay so i think the lighting should be better i didn't realize it was overexposed we have the world over here and we have seven of wands so this is your pre-shuffle energy right now that i'm getting whoo sorry i just whew, just need to chill the fuck out for a second so ace of pentacles brand new beginnings brand new opportunities coming towards you guys new opportunities for jobs friendships self-growth personal growth Brand new opportunities. I definitely see that you are closing out any old cycles, any old relationships, friendships, anything. You're cutting the ties and you're letting go and releasing of the old and letting the new in. I see that you are definitely standing your ground. Whatever it is that you believe, whatever it is that you stand for, you are not tolerating or putting up with shit. You are standing your motherfucking ground. You're welcoming new energy. And you're not tolerating less. You're not tolerating bullshit from nobody. And you're standing your ground. Some people may say, oh, Aries is so defensive. She's so this. He's so that. But no, you're just standing your ground. You're standing what you believe in. And nobody can tell you otherwise. Whew. Therefore, you're going to get rewarded with all that you do. You're going to celebrate life. And welcome new energy. And you're actively holding truth to your values. Aries, my people. Let's get into your actual reading. Oh my god, why am I in such a dramatic energy? I'm like saying it like a oh my god. Well, I need to chill out. This is why I don't do readings around this time. Like it's not even late, but like the sun is starting to set, and like I never do readings this late. I normally try to do them in the afternoon. <laughs> so just letting you guys know, like, normally I'm pretty chill. Normally I'm just like, yeah, the world, seven of wands. But now I'm like, the world, seven of wands. Like, so fucking dramatic. Oh my god, where's the script at? Just kidding. Um, let's get into your actual reading, though, for the rest of September, the second half of September. What do we have for my Aries people, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Regarding love and career, any other messages? For my Aries people, anything that they need to know going into the second half of September. What messages do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? 
from now until the end of September? Is there anything that they need to be aware of? Any messages that they need to hear in the current moment whenever you come across this video? Any messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Anything that they need to hear? Anything they need to be aware of? Any messages they need to know and hear right now? And keep in mind, keep in their back pocket for the rest of the month. Any messages from my Aries people, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding the last bit of the month? The last half, the second half, before going into October. Oh my god. Okay. Any messages for Aries, Summer Lizzie, and Venus regarding love and career or anything else that they may need to know? Okay. They're telling me to stop. We can all stop. We're going to split the deck. Okay. So we have the Three of Swords reversed. Queen of Swords upright, Two of Swords upright, Temperance, okay. So this is your current energy that I'm picking up at this very moment. Whether you're in it right now or you're just about to head into it, this is currently what I'm picking up for you guys. So I definitely see that you are moving on from heartbreak, from pain, from betrayal, from hurt, from sadness. You're moving the fuck forward. You're releasing yourself. You're closing out cycles, closing out chapters, starting brand new. You're starting, not even a chapter, you're starting a brand new book. A brand new book. <laughs> we have the Queen of Swords here, so I see that you're being logical. Head over heart decisions. No longer putting up with shit. Cutting things out that are not necessary. Cutting things out that no longer suit you, no longer resonate with you. Cutting out things that cause you pain, hurt, heartbreaks. Things that are stunting your growth, you're cutting it all out because you tolerate nothing but the best see that you may be feeling like you're at a crossroad maybe you're a little bit indecisive contemplating contemplation you know you're not sure do i keep this person in my life do i cut them out should i keep them in are they a real friend are they a fake one are they a snake and so you're making a decision and the decision is you could be dealing with a sagittarian but that we have temperance here you you're, you're deciding that you just want balance peace stability calmness patience in your life no bullshit no dramatic shit you just want peace calmness you just want to chill she's just chilling she's very peaceful she's calm in her mind she's very grounded that's all you want you don't want this pain you don't want this bullshit and you're cutting off everything that's causing you this three of swords energy and so with this queen of swords you're cutting that off left and right you're like nope Nope, I don't need that shit. Damn right, you don't need that shit, Aries. You don't. So therefore, you are wrapping up both cycles. Now we're gonna go into you versus the person you could be dealing with. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Two of Wands, the Emperor reversed, and Ten of Wands reversed. For this person, we have the Magician, the Star reversed, Five of Swords reversed, and Judgment. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to go through both sides and you can decide which one resonates more for you. Now, there could be bits and pieces that resonate for you or nothing at all. Like, it's different for everybody, so just take it however it applies to you, okay? You'll know if it resonates. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. So, on one side, <coughs> excuse me, I'm like a little bit stuffed up. I'm a little bit sick, but we're going to pull through. <clears throat> we have the Eight of Pentacles. I see if this is you, you are dedicated, you're working hard, you're standing your ground, you're keeping your head in your work, you're working your ass off, you are pushing, 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 and nobody can, can sorry, nobody can get in the way of what you want, okay? Ten, sorry, not, oh, I was going to say Ten of Pentacles, but there is no Ten of Pentacles yet, therefore maybe it'll come up in the reading, but I wanted to say Ten of Pentacles, but it's Eight of Pentacles. You're working to basically eight of pentacles. You're working towards your ten of pentacles. You're working towards your abundance. You're working towards your goals, your dreams, your family life, your friendships, your whatever the fuck you want in your life. You're working towards your goals, and nothing's gonna get in the way. You're dedicated. You're dedicated to whatever it is that you believe in. With the two of wands, it's focusing on what you want and making it happen. You're making it happen. You're putting in the work, you're putting in the time, you're putting in the effort, whatever it is that you're desiring, whatever it is that you have set for yourself, whatever goals you've made for yourself, you are going through it. Now, I do see that you guys could be feeling a little bit out of your element with the 
sorry, my moon blank, you could be feeling a little bit out of your element with the Emperor reversed, Aries energy. Now, you may be feeling a little bit out of control, a little bit ungrounded, a little bit out of balance. That's okay. That's all right. Sometimes you just got to take a moment for yourself to just chill out, ground yourself, vitalize yourself, build yourself back up, gain that energy back up so that you can flip it. Oh, didn't mean for that to happen. So that you can flip it back on your shit. And I see that you guys will. Oh, did I flip it? Yes, I did. <laughs> see, because right now you guys are a little bit off your energy. Maybe feeling a little bit whack, a little bit off balance, a little bit, hmm, things are a little bit whack. That's okay. Try and take control. Get that control. Take control of who you are. That's a song. <gasps> oh, that song's a good song. Hold on, that's a good song. I don't know why that song came into my head, but let's play it. Let's play it. <laughs> Underneath the star. <laughs> Literally. You will see a little clearer. Oh my god. I see things exactly as they are. I completely forgot about that song. That song came into my head when I was like, take control of who you are. And that song came in my head. So it's literally that song is about taking control of who you are, standing your ground, not settling for less, but opening yourself up, opening your heart up, not being afraid to love again. So that could be you guys right now, you know, maybe you've gotten hurt badly in the past. And I do see with this Ten of Wands reverse, you're trying to release those burdens so that you can open up your heart. Because as of right now, you are this Queen of Swords. You are a little bit, you know, cold, a little bit lo locked, locked up locked up a little bit closed off and so therefore you need to release this pain release these burdens and open up take control who you are and open up your heart literally that's basically what the song is saying i mean it basically repeats like four lines but it's such a good song i recommend listening to it i can't believe that song came in my head i haven't heard that song in like years so really good song Love Coda Line, he's great. Anyway, <laughs> back to the reading. Oh my god. Love that. Anyway. Sorry, my hand a little bit itchy. <clears throat> the Ten of Wands reverse. You're dropping burdens, you're dropping situations, you're dropping people left and right, those who do not fulfill you, those that do not resonate with you. You're cutting that off. You're cutting that out of your life because you know what you want, you know what you deserve, and you're not gonna tolerate any less. Now the person you could be dealing with. I am seeing that this person, I feel, has lost hope regarding the situation. This could be somebody that you've cut off or you're contemplating cutting off. Cutting off. I see that you're fo they're focusing on manifesting brand new things, brand new opportunities. I do see that with the star reversed, it's like they lost hope, they lost faith in the situation. I don't see that they want really any growth. I think this person sees it exactly as it is, that you guys are going your separate ways and that's okay. The Five of Swords reverse, I definitely see that they're just trying to heal from a situation or maybe there was some type of argument you two had that caused this split, caused this, you know, separation. It caused pain in the past. Whatever this separation was, whatever there was like an argument or something, I definitely see both sides are trying to release themselves and move forward. And with judgment, that just kind of confirms that like, hey, there's a judgment call that has been made, a decision that, a decision that has finally been made. To let this go, move forward, and taking control, really. Taking control. So let's get into this reading. I already said, oh look, Ten of Swords reverse. So there definitely was some type of betrayal, some type of ending that there could have been between you and another person. That's kind of what I'm getting. But the worst is over with the Ten of Swords reverse. That always means that the worst is over. But yeah, we're going to clarify. Oh my god, hello. I can't even lift these cards right now. I'm going to clarify these cards, see what the meanings are. And um, I'll do a singles reading after. And then advice for everybody at the very end of the reading. Okay. Talking about the Three of Swords for Aries. Oh wow, already one card. Seven of Pentacles, let's get a couple. Talking about the Three of Swords reversed. 
for Aries. Six of Pentacles. Oh, and the Three of Wands. Okay. I'll take three cards. So for the Three of Swords, heartbreak, pain, you know, betrayal, but it's reversed. You're moving forward. You're releasing. You're letting go. You're finally getting over this pain. I definitely see that you're being very patient with yourself regarding the situation. It didn't happen overnight. You didn't get over this overnight. It caused pain, and that's okay. You realize that, you recognize that, that it caused you pain, but you're choosing to be more logical, head over heart with the Queen of Swords. But I see that you are being very patient with yourself. You recognize that it's gonna take time for you to get over this, and you're allowing yourself to mourn, to feel a loss, to accept, and release, really. And I see that you coming to this, you know, to coming to terms with the situation, coming to terms with the truth. You're also planting seeds, planting that, whatever it is that you want, planting your garden, really, waiting for your fruits of your labor to come in because you put in so much work regarding something that you worked so fucking hard for. And I definitely see that it's going to end up being really beneficial for you in the end with the Six of Pentacles. Equal balance, equal give and take. It's going to be great. 50-50, equal balance. Like You could be investing in more relationships that benefit you, that are not one-sided, that are not draining. And I see that you are just waiting for better opportunities to come towards you instead of things that were draining in the past. Kind of like, you know, these burdens and like cutting that off and the pain that you've dealt with. And I see that you're just slowly but surely finally moving away from situations and people like that. Talking about the Queen of Swords for Aries. Oh, Jesus. Ah! Wow, the cards be speaking like crazy. So with the Queen of Swords, we have two of swords again. Double confirmation. Stuck at a crossroad, deciding. So, and you, so you're making this decision and you're not very sure, but you realize you have to make a logical head over heart decision. You have to make a head over heart decision. You have to use your logic. You can't allow your emotions to sway your the way you stand, right? We had the seven of wands in the pre-shuffle. You standing your ground, standing in what you believe in, firmly believing in what is best for you. And you're not letting anybody sway you, change or manipulate your belief, whatever it is that you stand. And so you were kind of contemplating for a moment, like, do I cut this person off? Do I keep him in my life? And I do see you definitely were contemplating. We have two of wands again, double confirmation. You're kind of, you were waiting something out. You're waiting out a decision that you had to make. And I feel like it was regarding a situation where it could have been, you could have been dealing with a manipulator. Pretty sure this is, um, Aquarian energy, but I could be wrong, but it's air energy, okay? So you could have been dealing with an air sign. There's a quite a lot of air throughout this reading, just letting y'all know. But I definitely see that you have to make some type of decision regarding somebody who could have made you feel like you were in the wrong. Somebody who was just a manipulator, liar, did some deceitful shit, caused you pain. And so you were stuck making a decision. But you realize you have to be logical with this decision. You couldn't let your emotions get in the way. So therefore, you did make this decision with the Two of Swords showing out again. <clears throat> oh my god, my fucking nose is like stuffed up. I have to breathe through my mouth. Whew. It's like hard to like talk and like breathe. <laughs> like, oh my god. So let's go into this decision with the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Oh my god. Ace of Pentacles. Hey, that showed up in the pre-shuffle. We had the King of Wands. Tell me about the two tell me about the two of swords for Aries. Eight of Cups reversed. <clears throat> so this could be this choice could have been regarding somebody from your past. Now I don't know if you're contemplating, I don't know if this decision is about you returning to a past person, or if this is you looking back on you leaving somebody behind i don't we're gonna let's actually go into this eight of cups real quick i'm not gonna actually keep the cards that come out for this eight of cups but i want to know what exactly are you coming back to somebody from your past or are you just looking at it thinking about it is this ace of pentacles regarded to somebody from your past or is this something brand new i'm gonna see real quick what's this eight of cups reverse about oh shit that scared the fuck out of me justice time of eight of cups real quick for aries the chariot reverse oh Eight of Wands. Oh, this is so... Hold on, let's get one more because this is a little bit wishy-washy here. Five of Cups and the Lovers at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so... 
Does that give me more insight? Kind of. So, Eight of Cups. A situation, resurfacing, or thinking about returning to a situation. Now, I definitely see that justice is coming into play. Whatever wrongdoing that there was in the past, it's going to be served. Any justice that's been needed is going to be served. So, something that has happened in the past, whether they did you wrong or you did them wrong, there will be wrongdoing. Now, I definitely see that there, this situation did come to a halt with the chariot reversed. And... I definitely, okay, yeah, no, this, this makes total sense now. Um, so there could have been a moment where you were, you know, upset, crying, feeling sad for yourself, sorry for yourself, feeling pity, feeling just let down, disappointed. But I definitely see that there could be forward movement towards this situation. We have two eights now. We have the eight of cups and the eight of swords. Sorry, not eight of swords, eight of wands. We have two eights. I don't know what eight eight means in the angel numbers, but like... So that could be what this new Ace of Pentacles is. Like, this could be past. I mean, honestly, I guess it could be different for everybody. You'll know if you want to return to the past, then that's you. But if you don't, well, then possibly this could be something brand new. Or this could be somebody from your past returning. Now, I definitely see with the King of Wands, this is you being very passionate about a decision. Whatever this decision is, you're passionate about it. You're passionate about this new beginning. Whatever this is, you're passionate. You're falling, falling, oh my god. You're falling through, following through, whatever. You're going through with this decision. Whatever it is, you're going through. Nobody can get in the way of what you want, okay? You always go. You fight for it, and nobody can get in the way. Nobody can stop you. <sighs> Holy fuck. This is like, I don't know why, but it's kind of feeling intense, not gonna lie. Whew. Like, just like, I don't even know. Whatever, let's get into the temperance. So, let's talk. Oh, the hermit wanted to come out. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Maybe you were reflecting a lot about this decision. I'm going to temperance for Aries. Queen of Wands. Oh, wow, we have a pair here. Masculine to the feminine. Just saying. So, I definitely see if so. If this is you wanting to return to a path, and I'm picking up on so many different storylines now, hold up. We're going to go one group at a time, okay? So if this is you deciding to return to a past partner, you guys could definitely be soul tied, soul connection, the yin to the yang, you know? Masculine to the feminine, just saying. Um... And if you aren't returning to a past connection, but there was something that did end in the past, this kind of confirms that you guys were like the masculine to the feminine. Like, that could be for some of y'all. Some of y'all. <laughs> now, I definitely do see that you guys have contemplated and reflected and really just went through whatever went down over and over and over. You were reflecting introspection period, you know, really thinking about this situation, talking about how much you want to balance and equal give and take, and maybe you didn't receive it in the past. And I do see that it's just like lack of coming together. There could be lack of communication, very little to none at all, kind of what I'm guessing. And Sorry. I feel like you're just kind of staying in your comfort zone. Like, if it, I don't, honestly, I'm not, I'm like, now whoever this is I'm picking up on, you were reflecting on this situation for a while now. You were. And I don't, I don't really see that you're the one taking action. If this is a past person, a past connection resurfacing, I'm not sure if you're actually the one taking action. Because we have the Page of Pentacles reverse, and we have the Queen of Wands, and she's just sitting pretty. She's just doing her own thing, you know? The King of Wands, though, on the other hand, normally is the one who takes the action, who follows through and just keeps on going until he gets what he wants. So, now this could be, what maybe the King of Wands is on one side, and the Queen of Wands is on this side. You could be dealing with another fire sign, could be dealing with a Leo. Maybe you're dealing with another fire sign. Just kind of, just kind of thinking. Was this over here? I don't even know. I don't even remember. Was it over here? One, two, three. Um, maybe it was on this side. Yeah. But I'm just saying there's a masculine to a feminine. Whoever this feminine side is, the Queen of Wands, she's not barely taking action. She's just sitting pretty. She's staying in her comfort zone and she's fine with things. She's just doing herself. She's just good on her own. So y'all know which one you resonate more with, okay? 
Let's go into this Eight of Pentacles for Aries. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. So you're working towards your Ten of Pentacles. That's what I said earlier. Ooh, a lot of cards wanted to come out. Okay, so the Ace, sorry, the Eight of Pentacles, we have Justice showing up. We have Ten of Pentacles reversed, and we have the Ace of Wands. So, like I said before, you are working towards your goal. You're working towards your Ten of Pentacles upright though because currently in the very moment you don't have this ten of pentacles you don't have your abundance yet you're waiting for money to come in money could be a little bit tight you know a little bit stressful maybe the family situation home life is a little bit stressful but i definitely see that you're working hard regarding this whatever this new beginning is whatever career you're going in towards or studying or something that you're passionate about i definitely see that you're working really hard towards it and just know you keep working hard it's gonna pay off it's going to pay off with justice. Like, justice is served. What what you put in is what you get. You put in and you work your ass off. You're going to get so much rewards from doing that. Like what I said in the pre-shuffle. Ace of Pentacles, you're going to be rewarded. You're going to be celebrating. You're going to be achieving so much. But if only if you dedicate yourself to. So let's go into the Two of Wands. What was this decision? Oh, King of Cups. Okay, let's get a couple. Two of Wands, Page of Wands, a lot of fire energy in the sun. Oh, wow, we got two cards coming out. Okay, so this Two of Wands, this decision that you are making, focusing on what you want and making it happen. So you, this is a decision to make. How am I going to go forward with this, whatever this is? Well, whatever this is, we have the King of Cups here. You're choosing to be emotionally available emotionally vulnerable opening yourself up like i said open up your heart take control of who you are that song that came to me literally said open up your heart and that's exactly what you're doing king of cups opening up your heart page of wands communicating being honest telling it how it is being honest up front communicating telling the truth talking to somebody talking flirting messages good news positive news now, I definitely feel like maybe you have been left out in the cold. Maybe somebody left you out in the cold, giving you the cold shoulder, and it makes you unhappy. And so I see that you're going to be taking action about this. You're going to be doing something about this so that you can take the sun reverse and flip it so that you can be happy. You know what I'm saying? Oh. My throat is kind of like, it's kind of sore, you know? I don't know if it's just from me talking or like, well, I'm getting sick. I love the bug now. Oh my god, the sky's getting dark. Watch the video. It was the first, the beginning of the video. It was light out. Now it's getting dark. Oh god, I need it. Oh, fuck. Why did I do reading this late? Okay, let's go into the emperor reversed. Oh shit. Oh look, the tower reversed. So again, you're trying to rebuild yourself. You're trying to build yourself back up. Ace of Swords. Wow, a lot of a lot of aces, you guys. A lot of aces and four of swords. Okay. So, the Emperor Reverse, you're feeling a little bit unbalanced, a little bit out of your element. That's okay. You're really just trying to build yourself back up. Getting back on your, getting back on that motherfucking horse like a cowboy. No, that bull, getting back on that bull like a cowboy. You know what they say. <laughs> you know what they say. No, but you're building yourself back up. So that you can be this Emperor upright, okay? Oh, shit. You're taking time for yourself. A lot of air energy, I'm saying. Like, a lot of fiery air energy, I'm telling you. Could be dealing with fire sign, air sign. But I, we do have all the signs on the chart. The, what? <laughs> we have all the signs on the table, okay? But with the Four of Swords, you're taking time out for yourself. Taking time to heal, to rest, to rejuvenate yourself, to take care of yourself. And gain that energy, that momentum back up. And I see that you're only going to tolerate the truth. No bullshit. You don't want no lies. You don't want secrets. You don't want deception. This can also represent communication. Honest, direct, straightforward, cut to the chase communication. Okay? Communicating that... Well, I guess it would be different for everybody. I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. To be continued. <laughs> um, let's go into the Ten of Wands for Aries. Reversed. Oh, four cups. Let's go into the Ten of Wands, please. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Aries. Ooh, 
Queen of Cups, we got another masculine to the feminine. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Oh my god. But look at this. Y'all, we got a pair again. So either you are dealing with somebody who's like you're really connected to, or like you are really mastering your ma your feminine versus your masculine side. Like you're able to control, like, okay, today. Oh my god, there's an emotion emotional. Okay, let's let's be more logical. Okay, I can be emotional, I can own myself up. Okay, cool. Like balancing it, you know what I'm saying? But you can also be dealing with somebody who's on like the same level as you. We have two pairs, the king to the queen. Okay, you know what I'm I was gonna pick up these cards, but I can't, so you know what? We're gonna just We're just gonna fucking pretend that I didn't do that. Some of the ten of wands. Ooh. The wheel of fortune. Okay, so you are finally releasing these burdens, right? Stresses, heavy shit that you've been holding on to for far too long, for way too long. And so I see that you're finally, you. there may be something that you're not seeing at the moment. But only if you open your eyes and turn around and see that there's this offer in the cloud. That things would be different. Oh shit. But don't worry. Things are going to change and they're going to turn in your favor with the Wheel of Fortune. And I definitely see that you're opening up your heart. That's good. Uh, see, like that fucking song. I'm telling you, when I get fucking songs that come into my head, normally they fucking resonate with the reading. I don't know what the fuck is up. But that that's something important, I guess. So listen to the song. What's it called? Take Control by Codaline or some shit like that. Good song. Anyway. Let's go into the person you're dealing with. Let's go into the magician. Tell me about the magician. Woo! Queen of Pentacles. Let's see if we get a King of Pentacles on this side. Then we got another fucking pair. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Tell me about the magician, please. Oh shit. Seven of Cups. Yeah, so this person has a lot of options, I'm sensing. Three of Swords reverse. So this person is also healing from this. So I see you both are kind of like moving forward. Don't know if you guys are moving together, but you both are. You both have been healing and releasing and letting go of this heartbreak, this pain, this sorrow, whatever the fuck. So you could be dealing with an Earth sign. They're in manifestation mode. They're focusing on brand new beginnings, brand new opportunities. They definitely do have a lot of options, but I'm not really seeing that they're very happy with their options. Okay. If it will focus, I may not even focus. I don't know if you can see his face, but he's just kind of looking down at the like the lake, and he's not really satisfied with what's you know been given to him. He's just like, oh, none of those make me happy. You know who makes me happy? Aries makes me happy, but they're not even speaking to me. Three of Swords, sadness. Wah. Tell me about the Star Reverse. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. The world okay so there could be feeling like there's unfinished business or that thing kind of just like left off and it's just like dot 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 to be continued like now what Talk about the star reversed the moon reversed oh wow the moon reverse and the devil Ooh, could be dealing with the capricorn could be dealing with the capricorn fixed energy as well as pisces or cancerian energy so Somebody has lost faith regarding this situation or feeling a little bit hopeless, feeling like they're misfortunate, right? And it's, I don't know, something could have been exposed in the past or some type of truth may have came out. Maybe you both, you both came to the terms that the relationship connection was just toxic. That could be for some of you. Whether that was like third party situation or like abuse of drugs, alcohol, whatever it is, just... Or just toxic behaviors in general but I definitely feel like there could be unfinished business lingering on between you and this person I think you both kind of feel it tell me about the five of swords reversed for Aries or regarding the person Aries could be dealing with now again this could be you this could be your person or like this could be all of you you have the lovers reversed Oh wow, these two cards wanted to come out as well. You have Temperance reversed and the Ten of Cups reversed. So this is really just talking about a situation that wasn't balanced with Temperance reversed. Now again, with the toxicity, with the devil that came out, there could have been some heavy drinking. Somebody could have been an alcoholic or had drinking problems um, or just maybe even cheating because we do have the lovers here and there are two other people and the middleman, he's like looking at his options like, hmm, 
who do I want? You know, and so that could have caused something that ended in the past. A lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of hurt. And I'm just saying that shit could have been one-sided, unbalanced, not very peaceful. Maybe there was a lot of arguments or drama. And so I feel like both sides are trying to heal from whatever went down in the past. But I'm just seeing it wasn't a very happy situation. We literally have the sun reversed on this side. We have ten of cups reversed on this side. So whatever the situation was, I definitely do see that it was toxic. It wasn't very happy. If anything, it was draining and caused a lot of pain. So what's this judgment about? What's this decision? What was this ace of cups? Oh, part two to be continued dot dot dot. Hey, I'm back. Or is this something new? Tell me about judgment. What's this decision? Yo, return from the Eight of Pentacles, upright. Oh shit, Six of Swords and the High Priestess reversed. Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Oh, what? Communication, possibly? Huh? But then, so here's a, so are y'all like, there's different ways I can view this, okay? So I'm gonna just say it. And multiple ways. So the first way I view this. So the first card that came out, Ace of Cups. What is this judgment call? What's this decision? What's gonna happen? Oh my God! What? What's going on? I don't know. Oh my God! New beginning. Is this with this past person? Is it with somebody new? I guess it's up to you. Okay. It could be with a past person if you desire. If that's what you want, you have your own free will. And you guys may choose, if this is regarding a past person, you maybe choose to just move forward, move on from this, and to let go, let, let go, let bygones be bygones, and to work hard on making it work. Secrets coming out with the High Priestess expressing and being vulnerable. Or this could be talking about, you're moving away from this shit, you're letting go of this person, you guys are going your separate ways, Moving away from that, a brand new opportunity comes your way, and you wor you work real hard for this. You you wanted it, so here it is. It's right in front of you. But then, what's this high priestess reverse about? Some type of because uh, high priestess reverse is about truth coming out. Now maybe this truth that came out allows you to move forward to this new beginning, and you're working towards this new beginning. But I feel like it fits more with the first way I viewed it, like, hey, so maybe you guys are gonna let bygones be bygones, and you guys are gonna put the effort in, and that, you know, being vulnerable and expressing and exposing the truth. That's kind of what fits more for me, but I mean, it's different for everybody. So those are the two ways I viewed judgment, but it's a judgment call, it's a final decision, right? Interesting. So, yeah. That's all I gotta say for that. <laughs> So, I was just like giving myself a moment to think, is there anything else I need to say? Nope. So, we're going to do a quick singles reading, and then we're going to get advice for everybody. So, I'll have it all time stamped in the comments below. Let's see what's going on for my single Aries, who aren't currently dealing with anybody. Alright, in the current momento. Moment. Man, it is dark outside. <laughs> oh my god. Doc, I always say... I'm never gonna do readings at night time. I always have problems, but yet here I fucking am. I have to though. I gotta get these readings done. I need to do like two more. <sighs> okay, whatever. Let's go into uh, my single Aries who aren't currently dealing with anybody in the moment. So I'm gonna flip some of the decks so that we get different cards that come out in different places. Oh shit, that didn't even work. Okay, what messages do we have for my single Aries? Any messages from my single Aries who aren't currently dealing with anybody? For the rest of September 2019, for the second half of September, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Any messages regarding love and career for my singles out there watching this video? Two more, okay. Any messages for my single Aries out there? Any messages for my single Aries? Ooh. Okay. Seven of Swords. We have Two of Cups, Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Cups reversed, and Queen of Pentacles. All right, so... What the hell is going on here for my singles? So we have the Two of Cups. I am worthy of the deepest kind of love. 
not settling for less, knowing your worth, knowing what you hold your truth to, knowing your value, not settling for less, like I said. Now, there may be what I'm looking from these two cards. So you're this Queen of Pentacles, you're standing your ground, you're focusing on your coin, you're focusing on grounding yourself, but now the Two of Cups usually rec represents, this is kind of similar to the last reading, the general reading I did. Now, it usually represents reconciliation, coming together with somebody. I feel like it may be return from the past, somebody from your past, because we have the Seven of Swords here, some deceptive shit. You, somebody from your past who you may have cut off from, maybe you don't even talk to them anymore, could be returning, could be resurfacing, and I see that it could possibly be turned down with the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Cups reverse, okay? Yikes. Don't know what happened there, but with the Seven of Swords, we all know, trickery, deceptive, lying, manipulative, betrayal, etc, etc, etc. I could go on and on and on and on and on. We don't like Seven of Swords facts. That's it. Period. We don't like Seven of Swords. That's a bad card. It's not very good. Usually pretty deep, dark, and heavy. Alright? Take great care of what you value, alright? Stand your ground. Don't tolerate shit. Don't put up with the bullshit. Know that you are worthy of the deepest kind of love. Don't settle for less. Don't settle for this manipulative, lying shit, okay? And I see that you're just going to be this queen of pentacles. You know, you doing you, grounding yourself, focusing on that coin. And I feel like you're unbothered by this, so that's good. That's good. Now let's do advice, and then I'm going to end this reading. Any advice from my Aries people? Any advice for Aries? Any advice for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Any advice for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Oh my god, it's like pitch dark outside. Any advice for Aries for the rest of September 2019? Any advice for Aries for the second half of September 2019? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding love and career. Any advice regarding the last spreads? Okay. Any advice for Aries? The Fool. Ooh, take that leap of faith. Ooh. Any advice for Aries? Okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Any advice for Aries? The cards just don't stop coming out, but I'm going to end it there. We have the Fool. We have Death. Wow. We have Three of Pentacles. We have Ace of Wands. And we have Queen of Pentacles. I, oh, sorry. We don't have Ace of Pentacles. We have Ace of Wands. My bad. We have the Fool, Death, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and Queen of Pentacles. So like I said, you guys have brand new shit coming your way. Literally from the beginning of the reading to the very end. From the pre-shuffle to the very end. The advice. New shit coming in. The, we start with the world. Wrapping up old cycles. Cutting loose ties. Releasing. Letting go of the old and welcoming the new. And that literally says, letting go of the old, death, cutting that shit out. And welcoming the new with the fool. That basically just it sums up your whole fucking reading. <laughs> so no beginnings are coming your way. Be open to new opportunities. And definitely let go. Surrender and move forward. I know, easier said than done. But embrace the new beginnings. You gotta cut things off to have new things come your way. Know that you are supported in and around your environment. Your family, your friends, your co-workers you're sorry you're supported people want to support you seeing just collaboration we have the ace of wands here again new beginning this could be regarding career something that you're passionate about passionate new beginning and i see that you're coming out as this queen of pentacles stand your ground be grounded don't let nothing shake you off the ground. Stand your ground. Know your worth. And don't tolerate and settle for less. You know that. You guys already know it. Aries, like, you guys have no problem with this shit. 
keep doing what you're doing. You don't need my advice. <laughs> my God. But yeah, that's what I was getting for you. Could be dealing with an Aries, the full energy. That's you guys. Scorpio, you do have some earth here and a little bit of fire. So with that being said, that was your mid-monthly tarot reading. Hope it resonated. If it did, comment below. And with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.